We're standing now in front of the Brick Church, which is where the uh, Congregation of All Saints meets uh, weekly for its uh, worship and uh, for other events in the life of the parish. Uh, the construction of this building was begun in 1774 under the direction of then-rector Thomas J. Claggett, who later became the first consecrated bishop of, uh, of the Diocese of Maryland. Uh, a little more about that later. Uh, the price of construction uh, was 200,000 pounds of tobacco, which was obviously raised by the uh, families in the, uh, in the parish. Uh, we uh, do believe, as was the case with uh, most construction projects of that time, uh, that slave labor was used. These would be slaves that uh, would, uh, belonged to uh, uh, members of the parish and uh, were rented, if you will, uh, for this uh, construction project. Uh, the building itself is in the Georgian style. Uh, for its day, it was one of the larger constructions uh, in, the, uh, in the county, uh, Middleham and St. Peter's. Uh, our sister parish to the south, Middleham Chapel, was completed in 1743. You could fit four of them inside of All Saints Church. Uh, it's also noted that uh, in the architectural design, we have the largest galleries uh, in Southern Maryland. And a bit more about that uh, in, in another, uh, another, another talk. Uh, Bishop Whittingham, uh, when he visited All Saints uh, early in the 19th century, uh, claimed that uh, the capacity was 500 souls. Uh, people were a lot smaller then, uh, obviously, but uh, the church has uh, witnessed uh, many uh, historic events in the county, and again, we'll be getting to some of those as well. So uh, if you're still with us, let's step inside.